Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just quickly, because I know you are here to watch the stripping video, I thought I'd let you know I ran into some problems. It's not in the video. What caused me to look elsewhere on the carburetor uh, area, and I decided to go with a brand new set of carbs. These are not Mikuni ones, <laughs> I'm not that rich. Uh, these are the Chinese uh, Lifan ones. It's a well recommended uh, upgrade or swap, uh, it depends uh, which way you're looking at it, for uh, this bike. So, we are going to have a look uh, how easy to set it up and all that. So, without any further ado, let's get on with this uh, stripping video. So if you want to check out my video about how to remove the carburetors from the bike, uh, please check the card on the screen right now. So the first thing I'm going to take apart, this big bracket, uh, let's hope that these screws are going to give in. Obviously, I should have known it. Should have known. Let's try these. Okay, so that was the throttle cable, throttle cable holder. It's more than likely this never been a part, so I might be struggling with it to be honest. But uh, I'll, I'll just give give some heat, see if that helps. I managed to get this one out. Oh, I gave it some heat. I gave it some heat, heat gun. I do recommend it, guys. I think I paid seven pounds for this one from Lidl. Um, and it, it worth every penny. Well, this was quite tough. This is connected with the, with the choke, the choke system. I'm gonna undo that one, this little bolt right here, which is on the choke. Okay, and see if that helps or not. See if that makes it slide off or not. No. Right, so this rooster E-clip, we're gonna take that off next. Because that's roosted on quite badly. There you go. Press this washer off. And then there's a spring behind it. <laughs> the spring, the spring doesn't want to let go because it's it rusted on quite badly. I, th I think the spring is galvanized, but the shaft isn't, and it didn't want to come off. I'm going to take off that choke, 14 mil spanner, for the choke piston. Okay, that's in nice condition. That's good to see. Right, here comes the part when I need some boxes. Let's see if that helped or not. Yes, I think maybe that that or that was the problem. So, take off the choke, choke piston. So now we're gonna focus on the front. So let's take out the delicate bit, which is gonna be the membrane. What the heck is got a security torx on it? It's got a security torx, look. Okay, wasn't tight. Okay, looks fairly clean. Take the spring out, go in the box, and then we're gonna pop this membrane out. Uh, there is an air jet there. I'm gonna pop that out. Right, so correct size uh, screwdriver. The maximum which fits into the jet, in my case, is this uh, Vera 5.5 mil uh, screwdriver. Fits in nicely, right there. So we're gonna give it a firm turn. A little O-ring here. Right, drain screw. Let's get that out. It's got an o ring on it. Let's get 
let's get this heater unit out it looks like a 10 mil okay that seems an easy one I'm gonna look it up how to check it to make sure it works coastal enriching system right it's got one butchered up screw it doesn't even sit in it anymore right I might try my anti slip Philips one. Oh yes oh so lucky it's so butchered up normal JIS should be okay alright hold it down because it's got a spring behind it and the membrane right it's got a fairly strong spring behind it okay right that's the assembly and it's got a little hole there so tiny yeah I don't think you will be able to see it is tiny as hell spring and then you got this little membrane and if it's the same as the 1100 then you got to unscrew the little jet behind it or not no it's a little bit different one moving to the bottom okay butcher the screws again very badly so let's start with the good one this was tight for no reason tight as okay heat gun again all right let's try with this one so it doesn't slip out because that's butchered again oh no unbelievable let's try some Penetrating oil from the other side. I might have to come might have to come back to this later. Let it sit for another day. So we're gonna take the pilot screw out as well. I always like to take it out. Have a look on the o-ring. Before you take it out, always check it where it is. So we're gonna go inside first. It's too far in, I can't see my uh, screwdriver, so I'm gonna I'm gonna mark my screwdriver edge gonna put a little dot there so I will know how many terms I'm turning it right. so it's right at that little little dot or whatever so let's go in first okay <laughs> seized in let's go out okay it's not moving not moving either way so let's give it some good old RP90 let it sit in there so this is been sitting in the penetrating oil this is what I'm using uh, RP90 action can you can buy it in two station I think two pound two three pound three pound and now we're gonna give it a go again uh, these uh, screws ah, I can feel it now can't grip him anymore. No. Let's try with this. Lock this on. Nice and flat. Luckily I can get a grip on it. And that got it all out. Okay, right, nice one, back to the table. Okay, dead screws, gonna get some new ones, because that's ridiculous, whoever put that back, it's unreal, honestly. I don't know what to say, whatever. Right, so that's the ball off now, and uh, straight away I can see that is rust, probably getting through the tank uh, so I am cleaning the tank anyway uh, gonna clean the tank out we're gonna fit a new filter so it will be done everything properly as it should be okay, it seems like the petrol level it was down here all the way look 
just there. It seems to be sitting there a lot. Okay, the float is uh, that easy to come off on this one. You are definitely coming apart. Oh, look at the needle I've popped out. I'm gonna pop this uh, jet block off. Little bit destroyed screw there, and that should that looks all right. Okay, that's good. Good. Yeah, no problem there. There you go. Just was a little bit stuck. So these are the, this is the gasket sort of thing. That's locating the emulsion tube, which I suppose should come out that way. Yeah. Give it a gently push. Take this o-ring off. I'm gonna get a new one. Put this back in the, in the emulsion tube and then the help pushing that out but I it felt felt quite loose so it should come out now that's it gently take this gasket off okay we're good don't want to rip it if if I can that's it so let's work on this a little bit let's get these jets out so let's put them there there is a jet there is another one and there is another one all the way down there all the way will just uh, come out and these side holes are half of them is blocked and we got one more left that can't even see it so we're just gonna go with feel you can feel the screwdriver grabbing it nicely and it come out luckily it wasn't tight at all well this could be the pilot jet right I can't see through <laughs> now I can a little bit that's just a locator, locator hole, it's got a locating pin, pin in there, sticks up and there's a locator hole there which makes it sit in the right place. Did I, oh I didn't take that out, oh, so it's a bit tighter than normal. It's a 70, yeah I think it's a 70. Okay guys moving on to the external choke system. It wasn't even tight. I'm gonna gently take off the the gasket. And try not to break it. That is marked up with the petrol over there a lot. So I don't think I don't think the the, the petrol height is right. I'm gonna move on to the next carb. That's that's done. So first things first is this big bad boy. Okay, it's got a washer on the back as well, and it is a shoulder bolt. So you gotta pay attention uh, to that. And it's got a nylon washer. So it's got a metal washer, a nylon washer. Sit like this behind there, and this is the shoulder bolt with the nylon washer on the other side. So this arm, this arm slides between two nylon washer. Okay, so we're gonna put this right back, and it's a shoulder bolt with a spring. So don't over tighten it because you're gonna snap it off. It's a shoulder bolt, so it will stop when it needs to be stopped. We're gonna take off that E clip. Oh, should be okay. Perfect, and that should come off. It's a bit rusty. Oh, there you go. Choke arm, dirty as hell. A Ten mil deep socket to get this shaft out. Just for cleaning purposes. Yeah, it's just a shaft, so it's not necessary to take it out. But I do. I did. Next step, we're gonna. Take off, take off, not loosen up this bolt, which is connects the choke shaft to the choke mechanism to the choke piston. So this choke shaft frees up. This should pull out. Okay, you can take that off as well. 
choke piston. It's a 14 mil on uh, these Mikunis, including the 1100 BST 40. That is a 40 mil as well. The reason I'm taking this out because I want to make sure it is in nice shape and it is actually. We're going to pop off this uh, choke block and this choke block just pops off with the gasket like the other one. Come on gasket. There you go. Moving on to the heater. Uh, it looks like a 10 mil to me, which is the other one was. This one seems to not have that uh, white gunk on it, which the other one had. And we're going to take out the membrane. I've got my little uh, security torx for that screw. That works. That does. Okay, hold this down. Spin them out. Okay. Sits there. I'm just going to push this out from the bottom. Up. Let's have a look in this pilot screw because I couldn't get the other one out. This one is nice and shiny there in the hole and this uh, cover cover rubber is not dirty. So let's see how much that is out currently. And to check that we're going to turn it in first. I marked up my screwdriver side so I know how many turns I need to turn and it's roughly sitting about four o'clock. So let's go in. So that was right. So that was out, not even a half turn. It should be at least two turns out, which is every everywhere you look, everywhere you Google, and you you try to find out how many needs to be the pilot screw. They always say st start with two, two and a half turns out from fully seated, and then go from there. This was not even half turn, and then the pilot screw should come out. You always have a spring, uh, a metal washer and an o-ring at the end. Okay. I've got the o-ring. Oh don't tell me somebody didn't put a they didn't put a metal washer in the no seems like it was o-ring only and the spring pushed pushed onto the o-ring very clever and you only have it half turns out honestly oh this bike is gonna run so much better than it was okay uh, we'll see needle Yeah, this bike. Oh, butchered again. Butchered, butchered, butchered. Ah. And the worst you can do is put it back, because you can clear. I can clearly see it's been, it's been destroyed when you when somebody tried to take it off. At least they're not freaking tight. Oh, yes. Ah, no, no washer on this, there's the washer on this, no washer on that. It's definitely, this is a new gasket, or fairly new gasket, so that has been touched not long ago. I can tell this carburetor was cleaned. So this one, this uh, block is got a little pin right there that's the pin goes inside there which locates which locates this groove locates on that groove what happened is that that pin seems to be is not deep enough not in a deep enough I might have to I might knock it a little bit in so it goes in deeper and it uh, clipped uh, the side of the immersion tube it clipped it slightly, so I have to file it down to be able to get it out. So right now I won't be able to get it out, okay? Let's take this air jet out. Let's 
I'm going to take off this spinny ring, uh, BKJIS, and you have to turn the throttle to be able to get off the other one. There you go. Now we can get to the coastal enriching system. And here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Cover, spring. Lovely. <clears throat> Membrane seems to be in good shape. We're going to check it with light. I'll show you how in the next video because this is already way too long. A little sleeve sort of thing goes in there for the the choke shaft so it doesn't uh, grind on metal on metal keep that in mind I forgot to mention that and I just noticed it is still in there I'm not going to show you guys uh, this block again it's exactly the same as the other block he's got the two jets in there and the destroyed plug again and that jet there and then we're going to clean the whole lot uh, anyway so I'm not going to show you how this comes apart because I already showed you in the other one okay so I'm not, not trying to waste your time here okay guys thank you very much for watching the carburetor stripping video I know it's super long but I could not make it any shorter I wanted to include uh, some solutions I ran into with the problems with the bolts some of them so if you run into that same problem uh, this video might help you out how to get over them uh, like I said in the intro uh, these carburetors won't go back on the bike I ordered a brand new set of lithium ones uh, we're gonna strip them as well uh, probably not in this detail but I will make like a quick uh, strip video about the carburetor so thank you very much for your time please consider subscribing if you are a 535 owner more 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 video coming up about this bike as I'm going uh, according to my plan with it so thank you very much for your time here and as always I will see you guys in the next video